Well, this has been a sad and traumatic day for Jeff getting anything done with this old transmitter I've been working on. I took this thing apart two weeks ago and cleaned it. And I'm not sure if I bent one of the uh, fins on this thing. I don't think I did. I think the fin on this variable capacitor was bent when I bought this thing. When I bought this rig, or this radio from eBay, one of the first things it did was smoked out this um, B plus resistor on the 12, uh, what is that, 12 BH7. So it smoked that resistor. So I put another 680 in there and tonight I was trying to get the um, finals neutralized and I've never seen a greater show of sparks. This resistor smoked up and I thought, what the hell? And it made like two seconds of fireworks. And finally I figured out on one side of this is 750 volts now. And on the other side is 250 volts. So when this shorts, the plate supply, which is 750 volts with the power supply working correctly, goes into the 250 volt supply. And that must blow up all sorts of stuff. But this resistor was then acting as a gatekeeper and the 650 volts, 700 volts was going to the 250 volt supply. And it was at a, a greater current capacity than the one watt resistor can consume. And so in a way, the one watt resistor might have saved the rest of the circuitry, I don't know. But it blew the filament fuse and uh, smoked out the resistor. So I, I, I put a second resistor in there, uh, foolishly, today, to kind of debug the problem. And um, I did that about half an hour ago. It's already like almost two in the morning here. so. But you know, when you're working on something, you want to get it going. So anyway, I put in the other resistor here, and where is it? It's right in here. Yeah, there it is right there. So so I put this guy in here, and this goes to the 12BH7, the, the, the plate supply. And it also supplies 250 volts to all these guys here and really to the to plate tank circuit, the tank circuit of this 12BH7, this last driver. So that, when that capacitor, so this wire here eventually goes up to that capacitor. The capacitor was, we have a capacitor for neutralization is right here, which I just took it out. So this, there's a yellow wire, or yeah, this red wire, this red wire, that's not the right one. There's a wire, okay, this yellow one, there's a wire that heads up to that capacitor directly, and so that will cross the um, 250 volt supply with the 650 volt supply through this resistor. So when I turned the radio back on, it started this resistor was smoking again a little bit. So I I put a new one in and started smoking. So I turned it off real quick. I pulled out the uh, 12 BY7, and it still smoked. And so. I figured, yeah, there's got to be some wicked short. And sure enough, I pulled off the, uh, I pulled off the 600 volt wire here, so we couldn't get 600 volts into the radio, and it quit smoking. And I thought, geez, oh Pete, there's a short from 600 volts to here, and so the only real culprit is is this guy here. With so, yeah, with the bent, uh, the bent fin that would do it, and it was the top fin bent. I don't recall bending it, but. When I first got this radio, this thing smoked out, and it was actually after I cleaned the radio, and I didn't take apart the uh, finals, so I think that was a problem that somebody else must have bumped this a long time ago. I didn't notice it, and I really couldn't see it, because you can't really see down into this thing unless you take it apart. And uh, anyway, so which one was bent? I think that was bent. Anyway, it was scraping in all positions, so and you couldn't really hear it scrape. And you can't really get a good reading across this thing until you take it out. So anyway, it's out. I guess I'll put it back in tomorrow. And I guess the radio will be fixed. Thank God. If I didn't blow out anything else. I noticed all my uh, my two LED lights in this thing burned out. So I must have surged those things with 600 volts somehow. And the uh, fuse burned out here. I don't have another fuse. 
So I put a little tiny strand of wire on there to just test the radio again and uh, see if I can get it to come up, but the transmitter. But anyway, that's my sorry tale for uh, for the finals cage. So yeah, so, so what happened really, when I first checked this transmitter last week, what happened was this was shorted, the 600 volts back flushed into my AC4 power supply and it wiped out the diodes. So that's what happened, and the power supply got wiped out. So then I put the new kit in from, uh, oh, what's this call sign? Uh, I forget, I forget, it's too late. NE6, I think, blah, 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 he had a kit. So I put the kit in, the $84 kit, which I have videos on that, did that tonight. And I think the PIV in those diodes is probably a 1,000 volts. So I think even, even backfeeding 600 volts into that power supply didn't blow it up. So this new power supply... The new AC4 rebuild didn't blow up, and I took the TR4 over here and connected it, and it didn't. It worked fine, so I thought, well, I haven't blown the supply up. So luckily now, this old uh, T4, this old uh, T4XB has blown up the power supply, the old power supply. I had to rebuild the power supply with with the kit, with the new capacitors and the new better diodes, and then I tried the uh, T. The TR4 and it worked tonight. Then I started working on this rig again and I got this thing working pretty good until until I touched this thing and tried to neutralize and then it was fireworks. I could not believe it. I thought, what the hell did I do wrong? So um, that was the issue. And you can blow your whole rig up. <laughs> your power supply, your Drake uh, AC4 power supply, if it's not retrofitted, You'll blow up all the diodes, and you'll blow up your HV part of it, um, and you'll have to redo it. So that's what I had to do, all because of a of a bent fin on this uh, neutralization capacitor here. Really a pain. Anyway, let's look and see how this thing. And what a mess this makes. I mean, fixing a radio, it's like there's parts all over the place. You know, I do software for a living. That's what I do. And so this this radio stuff is therapy, but. I don't know, is it therapy or is it bad? It's really, really been brutal lately trying to make these work. But I guess I'm learning what I forgot a long time ago and I'm learning new things anyway from the 60s of all things. So yeah, here's where the little neutralization capacitor was and this line goes right to the 250 volt supply basically through that resistor and all those cap tuning capacitors. and. Uh, that attaches the, to the, uh, so here's where the 250 comes, I'm sorry, the 700 volts comes from the plate down through here and then pretty much, uh, jumps into there. And this little wire here goes down there. I'm not being very clear, am I? So it kind of goes, oh damn it, it kind of goes in like this. In fact, it does go in like this, so pretty much think that's how it went, just like that. There we go, and that goes there, and this wire goes here, and then that cap goes there. Anyway, if, if this thing shorts, you're in a world of hurt. Your, your AC4 or AC3 will blow up, and you have to redo your power supply, and so anyway, just, just don't short that. I, I, I have terrible luck, and I should have probably inspected everything when I put it together two weeks ago, but... That was probably bad from the previous owner, but I don't know. I'm not sure how anybody could have been it. Probably was me, but I didn't really touch that thing. I didn't touch it at all. I looked at it, but didn't touch it. I think this this fin here, this inner fin was bent and you couldn't see it, because I would have seen a bent fin. Oh well, live and learn. Maybe this thing will work tomorrow after another few hours of screwing around with it. It did work really good when I had it working with a new power supply. The uh, voltage was higher and I had a lot more stuff coming out the back of this thing, a lot more light from my light bulb dummy load. So maybe I'll get a dummy load at the ham fest coming up here. Okay, well, thanks for watching. This is a long video, I know, and uh, I don't know. Maybe I gotta build an SDR radio here now and uh, forget about this old stuff. But this, is, this has been fun because I don't know. I guess I grew up with this stuff and it's still part of me. Okay, take care. Have a great day.